Well, hello all. Today I want to show you how I made this digital telescope from two old camera lenses. And I'm using my cell phone to film what it sees through these lenses. So this is now a telescope. And I had this box on which I mounted it and I can use this. I slide something in and out here to raise and lower the box and then I just rotate the box on the table <clears throat> to change the horizontal uh, direction. Knocked a few nails into a piece of wood with two elastic bands to hold the camera. Um, drilled a hole through a piece of wood and then I'm going to show you how I mounted this uh, lens. Just one thing that I had to change was this was a piece of PVC piping that's used in plumbing. Just going to show you. I think it's 40 millimeter pipe, 40 mil. And I just took a joiner for this and used it here because it happened to fit the lenses perfectly. I just had to add a little piece in here I cut this joiner off added a little piece of this piping in between you have to play around you can either do it scientifically or you can do it the way i do it just playing around till the thing focuses and uh, it's it's formed a pretty nice telescope it's got a mount on the telescope telescopic lens that i just attached with a bolt to the top of the box this is a piece of wood that I had, a couple of screws, holds it in place. So there was, it is our digital camera made from um, two old camera parts, two camera lenses, and I'll show you how I joined them. But let me just first show you the footage because you want to know whether it's worth trying to do it or not. So here is footage of the neighborhood houses and then the houses that I was focusing on were, I would say, a couple of hundred yards or meters away. So it's got quite good ma magnification. I, I guess the real test will be when there's a full moon and I'll be able to film the moon. But here was just looking at the various neighbors' houses. Today I want to build a digital telescope. Now I have an old camera lens. I think it's a very good one. I don't know if you can see anything about it. Uh, I have a screw, so there's a point which I can use to hold it. This is a telephoto lens from an old camera. I've tried porting it, nobody wants it. And then from cameras you can just unscrew the lens like this. And I have a second lens. It's actually this lens. And what I noticed is that when I combine the two with a gap between them, I've got a telescope. So all I have to do is find a mount that joins the two lenses and I've got a perfect telescope. The only problem is the image is upside down, but that's no problem. When I film it through my cell phone camera, I'm just gonna turn my cell phone camera upside down or the software that will turn it upside down. So the way I'm going to join this is, this is from a piece of PVC pipe. The pipe goes in there. And all I'm going to do is, it's just a little bit of a, it won't fit in there. It needs a, just a little bit of a grind out of here. On both sides, they're both the same size um, lens fitting or, or um, what would you call it, um, thread. So I'm going to take this. wanted to use this and I'm just going to keep drilling it out until this fits and screws on reasonably easily 
this is screwed on nice and tight oh how beautiful that is and this also fits not quite as tight but i can always put some tape or something plumber's tape in there and then when i look through this it looks fantastic it's a telescope now all i have to do is mount it so i will put a bit of tape on this one which is a little bit loose the other one is tight tight and i was thinking of mounting it on i have this box with this hole saw i've drilled a hole through there a piece of wood and this piece of wood just about fits the lens i may have to just sand the inside a little bit and then it'll fit snug as a bug in there uh, look how just look how perfectly that now fits